I'll be officiating the wedding celebration today for my friends Joey and Nicole. At the request of the bride and groom, please remain seated after the ceremony until the part bridal party is exited. Okay? Right first. Son. As special dates, we gather to help them celebrate and shower them with our love and affection. They join hands to show their love, but the happiness between them fill this day. As an ordained minister, I shall now preside over the ceremony. Yes, if you please rise for a moment. The statement I'm going to make here, if you guys all agree, is to say we will. The bonds this couple are making today are sacred and should not be broken. But nearly every relationship is tested at one point or another by conflict, temptation, strife, and change. Will you, their loved ones, family and friends, agree to help them keep those bonds, reminding them of their love for one another and stand by them through this new path of their life? Thank you very much. Right. You can be seated. <laughs> Friends and family with great affection for Julia is assembled together to witness their bless their union in marriage. To this sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a gift to share with one another. They bring the dreams which bind them together in an eternal commitment. They bring their gifts and talents, their unique personalities, spirits, which unite them together into one being as they begin to build their life together. We rejoice with them in creating this union of hearts, built down friendship, respect, and love. <laughs> Marriage is about obviously all about love. What is love? Love is not a feeling. It's not something you can fall into or out of in a whim. Love is a commitment. It's a deliberate decision to do loving things. It's a deliberate decision to be patient and kind to each other. It's a deliberate decision not to be 
easily angered. And I have to remember being strong. And to protect, trust, and hope and persevere. Love doesn't just happen, and I assure you, it can be a hard working time. It's that commitment and a deliberate decision that you're making here today. So as you continue your journey together, I will ask you to remember these simple words of advice. I hope you want to like the last so These are your words. Let your love be stronger than your anger. <laughs> the wisdom of compromise. It is far better to bend than break. To fight at each other and ask for help when you need it. Always be best friends. Never take, never take each other for granted. Most importantly, remember to honor, respect, and love each other every day. Today, Joe and Chloe will not only seal their commitment to each other, with the exchange of rings, they're also making a commitment on their future. From this day forth, you shall be more than one couple, or two individuals. You shall be a united family. You are a family drawn together by love and held together by devotion. Who's got the rings? Assemble a commitment which binds these two together. They remind you that the marriage is not a destination but a journey with no beginning and no end. Just a moment to moment opportunity to love and be loved as you go. These rings mark a new beginning in your journey together filled with wonder, surprise, laughter, tears, celebration, grief, and joy. Now, with these rings symbolizing a continuous circle of unity, of love within your relationship, ultimately symbolizing the unity of wholeness within themselves. Julian and Cole will now finalize their, their vows. Oh. Place the ring on her ring finger. You take Jillian to be your lawful wedded wife. You promise to love and cherish her in sickness and health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, for taking all of it, and you apart. Please place the ring in <laughs> Jillian, you take Cole to be your lawful wedded husband. You promise to love and cherish him sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others till death be apart. Together now, do you together promise you a love and cherish and respect one another throughout the years to come. And by the power of best for me, the state of Illinois, and I'll pronounce you husband and wife. I'd like to present you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cole Briggs.